Active Investor here bringing you another independent analysis. This time we're taking a look at ticker symbol NERV. That's NERV. Company name Minerva Neurosciences Incorporated. And the chart we have today is a five minute chart. Each candlestick representing five minutes of trading. And the reason why we're using such an intraday chart is because there's no reason, literally no reason, to look at uh, past historical data since there is none for this price range. NERV is setting new highs. It has never been this high in its entire lifespan. As a matter of fact, the highest it had ever been before today was $10.01. And that was all the way back in January, on January 6th of, uh, of last year, actually. All the way back to January 6th of last year, not even this year. Um, and that was the highest it's ever been. After it hit $10 there, it fell off to about $4.00. And it hovered around four to six dollars for a really long time, a very long time, all the way up until recently. Actually, it pressed up to about seven dollars, and then it went from that seven dollar area. It was like literally seven dollars on the money, six ninety nine, and it fell off all the way to three forty five in about a week or two of trading. So it lost half its value, and then after making that low at three forty five, that's when we had this news that set it off our high. $13.22, the highest it's ever been in its entire life. All right, so with that out of the way, let me just mention that in case you don't know, the reason why it is spiking so high is because it announced a positive result from its phase 2B trial of MIN-101 monotherapy in schizophrenia. So it had positive phase 2B results. So as we know, in biotech, those kind of results can send a stock flying. It's not phase three, but it is a phase two B, which is still very good. All right, now with that out of the way as well, let's take a look at the chart. So we have three areas that I want to focus on, $12.23, $10.18, $8.80. $8 since our candles are right around 11.48, you can consider 10.18 as support, 8.80 as support, and 12.23 as resistance. Now you can see 12.23 was tested a lot here and it wasn't denied. It did break above 12.23, but it couldn't hold those levels and ended up dipping. Now it's interesting because these last three candles after it dipped, you can see they tried to break 12.23 again and they literally actually bounced off the Kaijin line here, but our candles fell below the Kaijin line and now it acted as resistance. The Kaijin cross happened. The Kaijin went above our Tenkin line, Tenkin our bullish line. So the fact that the Kaijin crossed above the Tenkin indicates that we are in a downtrend. And you can see that the Tenkin literally acted as trailing resistance here. Finally, our candles broke up the, um, above the Tenkin, which is bullish. However, the Tenkin was still below the Kaijin, so it wasn't a complete reversal. And sure enough, we just kind of channeled there the rest of the day. So we need to see a few things happen. Um, the fact that our candles are in the cloud here now indicates that this could be the new channel. So we could see a channel from around right around $11 to $12. Um, so we need to break that channel. If we break it to the upside, look for resistance at $12.23. If we break that channel to the downside, look for support at $10.18. So you can call this kind of like a micro channel between 11 and 12. The real channel is between 10.18 and 12.23. Now if 12.23 breaks to the upside, the next price target that we could have just based on today's information is $15 flat. And keep in mind, like I said in the beginning of this video, we're testing levels that we've never seen before. So really we just have to go off the data that we have here. So um, let's see, some other areas of resistance if we kind of take a look here. You could say right around $13 could be considered like soft resistance. It would be right around like $13.20. But uh, the real resistance is $12.23. If we break that, there's really no resistance. You know, we had that high of $15. We had some resistance here, but there was no set resistance. Each candle was testing a different area. So there's really no real resistance. Even $15 isn't real resistance since we only tested it once. And um, yeah, the real resistance that we have, $12.23. If that breaks, really the sky's the limit right now. We're testing new highs. We just gotta see what NERV does. So this could be potentially a really interesting stock to watch. If you guys remember CPXX a few months back, that was testing some new highs as well. And we just saw it kind of trail off, but after it trailed off, it did end up running again. And it's it's been making new highs ever since. So even if NERV kind of consolidates down, I wouldn't take it off my watch list just yet. It might consolidate down, 
but continue pressing up a few days later. So this is a stock I'm definitely gonna be watching in the coming days, even the coming weeks. It's at new highs and I'm excited to see if it keeps going up. So look for it to break 1223. If it does, we just have to see where it makes resistance. But as there, as it is now, 1223 is the final resistance. If it breaks there, there's a chance it just keeps running big time. But uh, I have a feeling it won't run too much more from 1223. It might be enough to see you know solid 10, 20, 30% gains. I don't think we'll see anything like another 100% or so, nothing like that. So I think we'll come across some resistance um, on the way up, but we just have to see when it comes. Hope this video helped you guys out. Any comments or questions, leave some feedback down below. I'll definitely take a look and let me know what you guys think. This is really interesting, the fact that we're making new highs. Um, so let's see what the stock does. I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.